Welcome back, Blade fans, and here it is in all its glory. I've been telling you this is coming. Here is the review on the Bestech Fairchild, a design by Kombu, Gregor Grabarski. And, well, what can I say? It is a large and beautiful knife, almost four inches. 3.93 according to Best Tech out of S35VN, in case I missed that later. And according to Knife News uh, and information they were given, it has been in the works for two years between uh, Kombu and Best Tech. So uh, it's quite a long project. And this was ready for Blade Show 2022. So they introduced it then, and I was able to get this uh, pretty quickly from White Mountain Knives. So, um, not a cheap one, however. Um, good deal over three bills, and that's three big ones. Depending on the version you get, and this is the priciest version because it is satin finished and not bead blasted. Okay, enough said. Let's look around. There's that beautiful satin finish, and yes, it is a fingerprint magnet, but they do have bead blasted versions of this uh, with a one with a bronze handle. They have a blacked out version. I'll leave you the link and you can check it all out. Now, I previously shot a video of this up on my channel as well as Instagram, but uh, here we go again. This one has a gold anodized titanium handle. The backspacer turns into a large arching lanyard slot. It's skeletonized in three ports here. I really like what they've been doing on these premium models. Uh, Best Tech with their logo. It's all like... Uh, milled and embossed into the pivot with a gold surround on this one. So, you know, definitely a showpiece, uh, but you could turn it into a user. Somebody asked me how the clip was. You've got a good amount of flex. It's still stiff, but you've got a beautiful ramp for going in the pocket and kind of your typical shorter ramp for going out of the pocket. And it's built right up on top of the pommel. So it, it sort of forms another layer to the, uh, to the knife, which is still fairly thin. And we're going to take some measurements in a moment. But as I said, almost a four inch blade. And uh, very reminiscent of some um, Chinese knives I had seen uh, from going all the way back. Uh, almost looks like that knife that was used in, um, I think it was Enter the Dragon, where there was that fight scene where the villain got his face cut and so forth. It kind of looked like this, that big, wide, leaf-shaped blade. I do not know why it's called the Fairchild. Um, haven't found that. Dug around a little bit. But I uh, didn't want to hold off and research too long and not get this video up there. Now, it is a drop shut action. No flipper tab is strictly a thumb slot, can be finger flicked, and it can be rolled out. Well, flicked out is a little bit better. Uh, can I roll it out? Yeah, I can. I just have to pick it up more towards the point. You can see how large it is in my hand. I've got an inch left over. Very nice jimping here on top. You can lay your thumb all the way across it. And you can choke up into a full-size finger choil. And you have about two inches almost left over on the pommel. Let's give you some measurements. Overall length. i got to back out. <laughs> Overall length is, drum roll please, overall length is nine and a quarter inches. 
blade length, now they called it 3.92, but I'm seeing four inches right to the handle, exactly four. Now that's interesting. It could be they're talking cutting edge. Let me give you that. But the cutting edge is going to be significantly less than that. Cutting edge. I'm still having a hard time getting it all on the camera. Um, cutting edge, um, three and five eighths, somewhere around there. All right. Let's get into other dimensions. Handle thickness. 0.56, so for a knife this size, and not bad. And I'll leave it set on inches and see if we can get you the, uh, let's see if I can get it. Where do I want to get it? Right about there. Let's see what happens. So, uh, 0 0.19 inches. If I switch to millimeters, as I've been asked to do on and off, 4.9 millimeters, so almost a 5 millimeter blade stock. Finally, the weight, it is not going to be a light knife. And I don't believe it's weight relieved on the inside because we've got so many slots and skeletonizing elsewhere. Get this guy to... There we go. 6.114 ounces. It's just over a 6-ounce knife. You know, for the size, I don't think that's crazy. Ounce over 5, inch, uh, five ounces, and, you know, we're talking many knives today, four and a half, five ounces. I don't know. That's my rationalization. <laughs> Let me show you what you get if you do pick this guy up. You get a nice Be Best Tech pouch. You get the, your normal uh, silica gel. You get a Best Tech uh, Kombu uh, style knife. I'm not sure which one that is, but I've seen it before. And you get um, Kombu, Kombu's logo. There we go. Right there microfiber cleaning cloth and it comes in a plastic bag and of course you also get a box they do a good job you know as I say with uh, we sort of uh, cheaping out on those uh, pouches unfortunately and giving you just the box with some foam inside I think best tech is uh, you know holding things up although I've seen these prices going up what can I say they are you're not cheap at this level. Let's take a look at this next to the good old Griptilian, just for shits and giggles. <laughs> you can see it's a good deal larger than the Griptilian. If we use a larger even comparison with Ontario Rat 1, looks like that and if we were to switch to perspective around you can see it's a big knife it kind of hides the Ontario Rat 1 but one more comparison we got that big guy, the Goliath 2 by Max Ace. And unfortunately, except for the height, which is very high, I'll give you that measurement in a moment, um, this um, Goliath is a longer blade. As you can see, by close to an inch. Because it is, I think, 4.3 on this guy. And uh, these, uh, the Goliath, whether you get it in the... Uh, drop point or whether you get it in the uh, new Bowie blade they are massive knives not quite as long as cold steel so as far as millwork goes let's see if they took anything out on the inside as a matter of fact look at that they did so yeah they've 
lightened this big boy up considerably. And they did say, we talk about how tall that blade is. So if we take it right here, uh, coming up on an inch and three quarters, well over an inch and a half. So definitely a wide blade with an amazingly tall flat grind. And um, is that flat? That's going to be the question. I believe it's flat. Just to the finger, it feels flat. When you hit that ridge, you start asking yourself, well, maybe it's... Maybe it's hollow, but no, I'm not feeling a hollow in the center there. So we're going to call that a flat grind until I'm otherwise corrected. Minimal billboarding. We have uh, the Best Tech logo here. And on the other side, we have Kombu's logo. And we have the fact that it's made from S35VN. Now I'm questioning, I mean, certainly S35VN is a go-to premium steel for a lot of purposes and some people are telling me that you can harden it better that they're more consistent with hardening it up to the correct rock well I'm not sure but um, we see kind of an absence in some of the best tech knives at the upper ranges of steels like um, 20 CV and M390 which is usually what you're getting when you hit that $300 mark so not sure what the deal is. Uh, again, it could be supply and demand these days. Uh, supply chain issues could be that they can just treat the S35VN better. That's my guess. So if you got some thoughts on that, feel free to share them. And once again, let's take a look around the beautiful Best Tech Fairchild Kombu design. And uh, real easy to open. I would say a fidgety knife for sure with that drop shut action. I mean, it's just so smooth, obviously, on bearings. The gold uh, takes on kind of, uh, depending upon the light, kind of uh, different colorations. Um, if you're worried about the color changing from the sweat in your hand and so forth, this may not be the best model for you. However, you can take some Windex and clean it up if uh, it starts changing color on you. So, you know, you could go with the black. You could go with uh, the bronze. Uh, bronze, you probably have the same issue. But as far as the blade goes and being a fingerprint magnet, um, you can certainly go with the bronze with the um, bead blast finish. Okay, that's all I got for you. But I did get a sizable box of knives in recently and uh, more on the way. So... Expect some new knives and interesting reviews coming out. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. This Old Sword, signing out.